Hello YouTubers, my name is Attila Mate from Blue Sky Photography and today I'd like to talk to you about the 4K video and the editing workflow in 4K video. Uh, I made a video not too long ago, a few months ago, about the 4K and uh, if it's important or not. And I would like to, uh, to, uh, to show you in this video the editing workflow that I do in 4K and uh, the difficulties that sometimes you can get with the 4K video. Now, many photographers and many videographers, they will argue and they will, uh, they will say that, oh, 4K, 4K is the future, and yes, it is true, but they don't talk about the downside of it. They don't talk about what's the difficulty you are facing when you, uh, when you are recording in 4K. Now, I just want to clarify here that I don't want to hammer 4K. I know that it's uh, obviously, we will get to the point where we will, we will have to um, embrace, you know, the, the future and we will have to, uh, to, uh, to shoot in 4K. So that's why I bought my, my uh, Panasonic FZ2000 because until now I used to, uh, I used to uh, shoot in, in 1080p. And that's why I bought this camera, because I know obviously that in the future the 4K will be a kind of like now the 1080p. So um, what I would like to do, I will show you, we get into my computer and I will show you uh, my editing workflow, what I do, how do I do, and uh, what's the difficulty when sometimes I face, you know, if I, if I shoot in 4K. So um, let's get into my computer and let's see what I'm talking about. So we are in my computer now, and uh, let's, uh, let's open up, first of all, let's open up uh, a program where I will show you my computer's configuration, because I would like uh, you to see, you know, what kind of computer I'm using. So you can, many, many people will say, yes, maybe you don't have a right computer. Now, I would like to show you this so you can, uh, you can see what I'm using. Now, I just, uh, oh, I can't. I can't make it bigger, sorry. Okay, so I hope you, you see over here. Now, this is the information about my computer. And as you can see over here, the processor, it is um, uh, Intel Core i7, 4790K, CPU, that means 4, 4 gigahertz, 8 core processor. So uh, it's a pretty good process processor. I'm not say, I don't say that it is the best, at the moment, no, it's not the best. But four, uh, three years ago, when I when I bought this computer, two or three years ago, I'm not sure now, but pretty long time ago, on that time, it was one of the best. Now, obviously, after three years, you know, there are better processors at the market, but this is still not a bad processor. I mean, still, if you want to buy this processor, it will be like 250 euro, only the processor. So this is the processor. As you can see over here, I have eight gigabytes of RAM, and uh, I have the, the um, uh, tell me the motherboard. It is a Z97X gaming motherboard, which is pretty, pretty good. I mean, uh, on that time, it was pretty expensive. It was like almost 170, 200 euro, only the motherboard. So it's again, it's not the best you can buy, but in the same time, it's on the higher end. If we go to the graphics card, you can see over here that GeForce GTX 750 Ti, and that is a four gigabyte uh, um, uh, memory. So it's four gigabyte graphics card I have. Now, uh, just briefly, it's a, it's an i7 four gigahertz, eight core processor, eight gigabyte of RAM and, and four gigabyte of uh, graphics card. That's the computer I'm using now. Let's go a little bit on video editing. And now you can see over here that I use uh, this video editor. I use this Movavi, Movavi video suit. Uh, I use this video editor because it's, uh, it's small. It is very simple and it is easy to use. You know, it, it, it doesn't take uh, much time, you know, to use. Uh, I use sometimes over here, you can see that I have the Sony Vegas over down there. I have installed the Sony Vegas Pro. And I use sometimes the Sony Vegas, but honestly, uh, I don't really like it. You know, I like this Movavi much better for the jobs that I do for uh, YouTube videos. This, uh, this is great. This is excellent. So uh, let's get here and let's add some files. 
Uh, first of all, I will add a background. Let's say we add this background. Okay. Now, like uh, obviously, like, I, I think that you realize and you know that I'm shooting with green screen. So uh, I will have to add the background and then I will have to add my video. So I will, uh, I will put my video over the top over here. And then um, I will have to do the chroma key. We did the, the chroma key. Obviously, it's, um, you will have to set over here, you know, the, the opacity and the edges and the noise and all kind of things, you know. Usually, I set the opacity at, uh, at 2. The noise, you know, then you have to crop. There, there are some uh, some things you have to do. Usually, I I do this pretty quickly because I uh, I don't want to pull this video too long, so I just uh, I just do it very quickly. What I want to show you is how my computer can handle the 4K, because as you can see here. As you can see over here, the, the project settings are in uh, Ultra HD, 3840 pixels by 2160 pixels, 60.9 uh, uh, aspect ratio and 30 frames per second. Now, okay, we got until here. Now we will give another one. Let's say uh, we will give some files into the screen. So we got it over here. So we'll place this file you see i i added i added the the other file and already it starts to look i pull it and it's uh, it responds very very late did you see that now this never happens if you are if you are editing uh, uh, 1080p. Look, look. It's too much for my processor. Now, uh, you have to understand that this is something which is very very important because even if you have look look that my computer is is it's that's it it's just stopped. You see, it can't it can't handle. You know, if I if I give now play, it just look. Just, just can't handle. Look. You see? Now, obviously, I don't want to. Um, I don't want to uh, to say that it's not possible. It's possible to be done. And if you do only one layer, now at the moment I have two layers of video. One is going in the screen. And the second one, obviously, it's myself. But if you if you do only one layer of video, then it will be completely fine, because the, this 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 computer will edit no problem. Or if I put a still image over here in the screen and not a video, uh, then it will be completely fine. But I don't even say that in this screen when I where I place this video, this video is uh, only 1080p. It's not a 4K, but if I put also a 4K video over here and also a 4K video up here, so I have two layers of 4K videos, uh, this computer will not even move, I tell you. So, um, unfortunately, that's the, that's the situation uh, with it, and, and nobody's talking about this, unfortunately. So, as you can see in the, in the example, which I showed you in my computer, uh, my computer is not strong enough to edit two layers of uh, video, even if one layer is 1080p and only the second layer is 4K. Now, if I would place two 4K layers one on top of the other, I would say that my computer would just... <coughs> that's it. And let's not forget that this computer is still at the moment if I if I calculate the, the the prices, you know, of the of the parts which are in that computer, it still it will be over a thousand euro. So um, 
I would say that if you need a computer which can handle 4K video uh, editing pretty well, you, we are talking about a computer which is around 2000 euro. And then you can edit two layers or three layers, no problem, you know, two, two layers of 4K video and maybe one layer of, uh, of uh, 1080p or something. But like I said, it depends what's your workflow. If you don't have two, three layers, if you have only one layer, this kind of computer will handle without any issue. Or even if you have uh, two layers of 1080p or three layers of 1080p, it's no problem. It, the problem comes when we are editing in 4K. Now, again, some people, they, um, they make that, yes, we do it in 4K and then we downsize in 1080p and then we will edit in 1080p because it will look much sharper and yeah, yes, it's true, but then what's the reason to buy 4K, you know, camera? It's, it's nonsense. If you buy 4K camera, you should edit your videos in 4K because it's kind of future-proof. That's the, that's the only reason I would suggest to buy a 4K camera because your video, even after 10, 15 years, when 4K will be uh, normal, like now 1080p, even then your videos will be okay and uh, everybody can watch it in 4K TV and every, everywhere, you know. But if you downsize to 1080p, yes, looks, it looks a little bit sharper, that's true, but I don't think that that works. All the hustle i don't think that works all the hustle honestly that's only me that's only my opinion guys i just wanted to show you this example so you can understand because in my first video i was talking about the 4k and it's uh, i was talking about the necessity of a computer but i didn't show you exactly what's going on now it here i showed you what's going on so you can you can you can see with your own eyes what i'm talking about i'm not joking i'm not saying uh, things that are not true so you can you have to know this and you have to be aware of this if you buy 4k camera if you want to edit in 4k at the same time you have to calculate on your budget a 2000 euro computer or at least like mine one which is about a thousand euro or maybe more so um, that's the that's the reality so i hope that this video will uh, will be helpful to someone out there and uh, i hope that you liked it if you liked it, please like and subscribe and share my videos. And other than that, I wish you a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.